No, absolutely. I think that's probably the, the you know, looking, you know, taking a day or so just to look back at everything. That's probably the most, the thing I'm most proud about is, is the step that we took as a defense this year. Obviously, from the year that we had previously, um, the way we came on the last few weeks, man, we understand that we are a championship defense and we have the pieces and um, we have to do everything possible to try to keep these guys back. Obviously, you know, I'm not John, I don't do anything about contracts, but, um, you know, even just talking to Harold, like I hope and pray that we can get him back and keep that front four together because, I mean, you know, nine sacks in the, in the playoffs, man. If we can keep those guys together, keep the band back, get the band back together, man. I think we could do some really special things next year. Kevin, you mentioned uh, what was supposed to happen on that play, the 19-yarder that I mean, we were supposed to stop him. I mean, we were just, you know, cover two man. It wasn't, you know, he just didn't make it a play, ran a good route, got open. Uh, Joe Burrow made a really good pass on him. Um, you know, for the most part of the game, we pretty much had him covered. Uh, obviously, he made a couple plays, don't get me wrong. But for the most part, we didn't really let him, you know, kind of beat us or, you know, kind of be a, the game breaker that he is. But, you know, he made a play at the end of the game, and, you know, we didn't. KB, how much um, – got a question from one of my colleagues. Um, how much of what you guys were able to accomplish this season was maybe a, an in-house belief that kind of no matter what, that you guys had that belief you guys were like a championship caliber team? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've talked about it before. It kind of started in training camp. Um, that we made a lot of good strides in training camp and – understanding that, you know, guys like Bud who wasn't fully healthy and just kind of looking at the whole things like, man, we get these guys healthy, we get guys playing fast and playing strong. And obviously we had Cunningham come uh, later in the year. We knew that we had the pieces that we needed to to compete for a championship. And obviously, you know, things didn't work out in our favor, you know, on Saturday, but I'm definitely confident and, and excited about the future of this defense because, like I said, the majority of everybody is going to be back. Uh, obviously, Harold's one of the only guys about to be a free agent, but um, – we have the nucleus of this team back, so hopefully we can get all 11 back so we can try to run this thing back. Kevin, given all that you guys overcame this year in that championship mentality you're talking about, is it harder to reconcile how it went wrong on Saturday? Yeah, man, it's – you know, sometimes when you get to this day, like, you know, locker clean all day, trash bad day, whatever you want to call it, like, you can kind of feel the totality of the year, like, oh, you know, just we had a good year, boom, boom, boom. But it feels weird, like even in the locker room, saying goodbye to certain guys that you know that might not be coming back. It just doesn't necessarily feel real. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely disappointing. You know, watching the games on sat on, on Sunday, you know, didn't really yeah, it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth just watching the games. Obviously, it was some really good games, been some good games, but, you know, it just does, doesn't feel like, you know, we're out of the playoffs. But like, we feel like we're supposed to be preparing to play the Chiefs this week. Um, but, you know, it's those things, it's how the league goes. And, um, but like I said, it's definitely still proud of you know the effort and the things that we was able to accomplish this year. Kevin, you guys won 12 games. You know, three of the teams left in the playoffs you beat. I mean, how hard is it to know that this was a team that was kind of built to win? And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you said, man. I mean, all the teams that's in the playoffs, you know, obviously other than the Bengals, uh, we've beaten. So you know, like you said, it, it kind of makes you feel sick and kind of think about the possibilities of what it could have been, and you know being able to host playoff games and things like that. Those, those are the type of things that we want to start to make a constant, make a normal thing here in Nashville, be able to host playoff games. But last two times we hosted a playoff game, we lost both of them. So um, that's something that we have, have to take a long look at this offseason and understand that, you know, that's not good enough. And we, you know, it's always be talk about, you know, our fan base and, you know, national media believing in the Titans and things like that. And we're going to hear all the talk this offseason. I guarantee you I'm going to, take all that and, and it's going to motivate me to make sure that I'm working extremely hard this offseason to come back to be a better leader, be a better player, and do everything I can to, you know, put our team back in this position again next year, but, you know, try to win this thing. Does the lack of turnovers, Kevin, surprise, I guess specifically fumbles, does the kind of scratch your head as to why there haven't been as many, you know, for, for you guys as, as other teams? I mean, you're an aggressive defense. Right. Is any, you know, do you, are there certain things that have to be done better? Or? I mean, it's always things to be done better, but it's not necessarily like a head scratch or nothing like that. I think that, you know, we've accomplished even without the turnovers, you know, kind of speaks to how good we are. If we can add another element, which is what we're always trying to do, um, we could be even better. But, you know, it is what it is. We didn't get enough turnovers, especially later in the year. But, you know, we still played well enough to win the game, you know what I'm saying, as a defense. We, you know, we had a couple of plays that we needed to make, but, you know, just proud of the effort. I mean, yeah, we want to get more turnovers. We want to get a lot of different things, but... Um, uh, like I said, man, at the end of the day, nine sacks, you can't beat that.